What is going on guys? Welcome back. Doink the Clown LMS. How did everybody do this weekend? Thanks again for everybody that came out to both of the streams. Certainly had a lot of fun. Last Man Standing is one of my favorite events. So I definitely enjoy playing it. Right now, we are going to finish this last arena. This is the last arena I could do because I ran out of blocks. I ran out of reveals. Can't really do too much when you get into the 60s, 70s, 80s and up. Without any blocks and reveals at this point, you're using two of each. So it can certainly get expensive. I know when you get to the hundreds, from what I understand, it's like 300 credits every single arena, which is insane. I've never made it that far. But y'all have to let me know in the comments how far you made it. We're going to take a look, at least at my Doink the Clown. And this is probably, I think, I think this is actually the best LMS I have ever had. And... I only spent 800 credits, actually. I had 400 credits for one of those packs that had the 10 reveals and 10 blocks. And then 400 of my other credits I used on the multipliers. So 800 credits and finished around 2,000. It looks like I'm going to finish around the top 2,000. 450k points. Sounds good. I like it. I like the card. I'm excited to see what it looks like. I'm finally able to get to Vanguard Plus Plus. No longer having to wait. A new tier is going to be coming really soon. And the Flash Road to Glory. Got to get ready for that Flash Road to Glory. But today, uh, we got a Vanguard TBG, of course, to pick up. Can it be any better than the last one? We had like a streak of five or six Vanguard TBGs in a row in which we picked up the worst pack possible. We're talking Primal, two Nightmares. Now the last TBG we did, we got all three Primals. Still no Vanguard though, but hopefully we can get that. I also picked up my very first Holiday Fusion Pro and my very first Holiday Fusion Non-Nightmare. If you can believe it or not i honestly thought i was gonna get nightmares every single time but let's finish this very last arena 14 minutes left obviously the event is gonna be over by the time you watch this video but uh yeah we're gonna get this last arena 11,000 points on the last one the early 70s late 60s are super easy when you can use two and two i thought about showing all the packs the platinums the platinum plus plus all of that stuff all the arenas but all of them were garbage so uh really no point in that but now let's go in here and claim our last man standing card as you see we still have the champions awards i have not seen yet so hopefully they're going to be good. We're going to show those at the end of the video. But last man standing finished 2,187. 450,000 points. I feel good about it. I definitely feel good about it. Especially since it only cost about 800 credits. I like the event which is really nice. And most of our team got it. I think... Let's see, we had a couple people finish around 50 overall. I guess why not just look? But yeah, we had two people finish around 50. Clay and Davis, big shouts, man. Micah squeaked in that top 100. Jinx won all in the top 1,000. My fellas, my dudes, y'all are killing it. Ginger, Robot, Man, Hutch, Mikey. All of those guys also picking up the event cards. So uh, awesome that a lot of people got it on our team. Our team now is Vanguard++. Plus Plus. Certainly going to help on the road to glory be able to get through that. Of course, a lot of us still need the females though. I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to level up these cards before the road to glory even comes. I mean, we have the Hogan we got to pro up. We got the Kevin Owens we got to pro up. And then, of course, we got the Doink the Clown. Just to compare this, I mean, I don't have the cards to level this up. So, it's going to be just a little bit. Card art looks amazing, dude. I absolutely love this. But look at these stats. Just, obviously, like level zero. 218, 216,000. You compare that to the Rey Mysterio. That we got in the previous team event, man. Look at that. That's like 150, 160. It's not even close. Doink the Clown's going to be OP. Definitely, I, I am willing to bet that it's going to be better than even though I don't have the stats of it. I'm sure I could probably look back. But 
Uh, since I don't have Heroic on Hogan, I'm willing to bet that Doink the Clown at rank 2000 is going to be better than this one. Certainly excited about it. Certainly excited about the rank. But let's knock out these two Holiday Fusion packs. I said earlier, got my very first Nightmare Pro. Got my very first non-Nightmare card. Which is kind of exciting. Kind of not. Considering I want the Nightmare Pros because I want the Mandy Rose. Oh man. Is it going to be Sonya? Is it going to be Mandy? No! Xavier Woods Pro. So I uh, pulled a Nightmare Pro. Not who I wanted, obviously, in Xavier Woods. And this was the very first Holiday Fusion I got in the beginning. And then for our second Holiday Fusion, and I do have another one coming in a couple hours. I'll probably save that for the next video. But uh, next Holiday Fusion, first non-Nightmare. And it's a Primal. Yeah, not a Vanguard, but a Primal. Big E. Bah. Okay. So, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't want, like, I would have traded that Primal for a Nightmare just for the chance of getting the Pro Sonya or Mandy. But we'll take it. I mean, eventually we're going to get Primals. Let's get this Vanguard at TBG. We only got an hour left to claim it. Even though it stays in your mailbox, I, I usually don't like doing this. I usually like, I guess, recording them and getting them instant because I feel like the packs are better when I do that. Um, but I wanted to wait and obviously do it live. It feels like the entire team has already pulled all of the vanguards, all of the good cards that you could get that's allocated to the team. I'm not even sure if it works like that or not, but that's how it feels. Maybe we will get a vanguard though. I hope maybe nobody else picked them up. I don't know. And we're still going to get one. Let's go. All the other Vanguard TBGs that I've shown, every single one of them, I think six or seven of them have been Primal, two Nightmares, and then the one in our last video, we did pick up three Primals, one of them being a Primal Pro, so that at least helped. Oh my gosh. Totally forgot about the BP cap. Um, what do y'all think? Grab bag, Nightmare single. Y'all have to let me know in the comments what you do with these. I used to take the grab bags right 10,000 but these are always garbage these are never anything good and I never pull anything even close to top tier let alone a primal and that's for 10,000 but for nightmare singles is 20,000 now I know that nightmares aren't necessarily the best at least as far as my deck goes but I still want to collect nightmares so let's get it. We're going to get a Nightmare one. I don't know. Y'all have to let me know if you think that it's smart to do this. Or if you've pulled Primals in grab bags. I don't think I would ever do that. I don't think I would ever pull a Primal or a Nightmare in a grab bag. But we're going to get a Nightmare single. Maybe it'll be a female and that would really work out. Let's go. Okay. It's uh, Ricochet. Which I think is our fourth Ricochet. I have none of them leveled up. I have none of the matches done on any of them. So it, that'll probably sit in my inventory for God knows how long. And I'll probably never do it. But I think that's going to be an F2 if it's ever done. Okay, now we can claim our Vanguard TBG. Which is going to be good. Which is going to be a Vanguard and two Primals. Give me a Vanguard and two Primals. Is that so much to ask? Is it so much to ha ask every once in a while to have something so tasty and good? Man, I tell you what, I have the worst luck. Do I not have the worst luck when it comes to these? And like I said, I, I just have the feeling that when you wait and hold on to the packs that you always get the shaft when it comes to the cards. Man, that's disappointing. Another Primal and two Nightmares for us, dude. I want to give y'all something good. But, Roman Reigns. Cesaro, I don't... I Actually, I do think I have this one. I think that could be a Primal Pro. So, if it is, we'll check in a second. If it is, then that'll be okay. And then, last Nightmare, be a female, man. I need more females. Adam Cole 
Okay, Nightmare. Okay, I feel like since the pack was so bad in the Vanguard TBG, they're gonna, Supercard is gonna make it up to me. Cat Daddy is gonna make it up to me right now. We got 85 tickets. Let's open three ticket packs really quick. Um, I was planning on actually saving all of my tickets until the Royal Rumble tier. I thought that might be a good idea, but I mean, I really need some Vanguards. I really need some Primals. I really need to increase the Road to Glory deck just so yeah we're gonna get three of these let's get three of them hopefully we pull a vanguard hopefully it's better than in the tbg packs man those packs are so bad for me go baby <sighs> two nightmares at least it's not two SummerSlam 19s another ricochet oh my god dude give me an f5 maybe i just need to do it or f5 an f3 Maybe I just need to level them up just to see what an F3 is like because I'm not sure if I'm ever going to get one of those. And then the Miz. So I know that that one's a new card. Another Ricochet. Bro. Okay. Chill out on the Ricochets. Let's not get any more of those. Come on. Come on, guys. Super card. Be good to me. Be good to me for a change. Let's go, baby. Okay. Primal. I'll take a Primal. Primal's nice. Primal's nice. Not a Vanguard, but a Primal's okay. The Undertaker. Taker's nice. Um, not sure if I have that one or not. We got... And then the Primal's gonna be... Ember Moon. A female. A single female. I need a female pro. Desperately. Okay. Last pack of the video. Clutch out a Vanguard. Come on, baby. Give me something. Okay. Two Primals. Two Primals is better than one. Even though it's no uh, no Vanguard. Eric Ronan. These were okay. Nothing lower. All Season 6 cards for all three packs. So that's, that's alright. That's better. I don't know. Still wanted a Vanguard, though. Okay, now let's be a pro. Let's be another pro now, baby. Come on. Elias. I don't know. Well, just a whole bunch of singles. I guess, I guess actually we did pick up the Cesaro pro, but uh, Elias, single. Ember Moon, single. Eric Ronan, single. That's okay. We did get an F3 Ricochet Nightmare, right? That's all the worth it. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you did enjoy. Of course, we have the team event, Team Ring Dom, coming soon, which is not going to be a pro for me, of course. And Women's Royal Rumble. I did see that they're replacing that with Elimination Chamber, which uh, kind of is a little bit upsetting, right? A little bit upsetting because you can't score as many points in Elimination Chamber. And I need those points. I want those points for my tier. I was thinking that I was going to make a push for tier 7. But if it's Elimination Chamber, that's not going to happen. I'll just have to be satisfied with tier 6. Y'all have to let me know what you think. I mean, I personally like Elimination Chamber. So I'm okay with playing Elimination Chamber. But uh, Royal Rumble, you get more points. And the picks. Maybe, a, I, I don't know. I don't know which one's easier. But I think they're both, all, pretty much all PvP is easier. But anyways, guys. That is going to do it. Maybe when it jumps back up, uh, they'll give us double points or something. But that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed. We'll be streaming soon. Team Ring Dom. I maybe stream? Maybe not. I don't know. I got a couple things that I still got to get done today. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. We are so close. So close to that 1K sub. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub for more content. Hit that thumbs up if you did enjoy. And I'll see you all again. I am out. Peace.